Welcome in to this edition of Great City Attractions. Today we visit a truly amazing historical city. These are the great tourist attractions of Krakow. The Barbican, a stunning sight with a defensive purpose. The Barbican of Krakow is one of the better preserved buildings of its type in all of Europe. Originally linked to a chain of defensive walls, the Barbican features seven turrets and three metre thick walls. The structure held firm against multiple sieges through the 16th and 17th centuries. Today visitors can tour the interior and learn of the historic defences of Krakow. Vavil Castle Overlooking the Vistula River, Vavil Castle is one of Krakow's great tourist attractions. Once a residence of Polish kings, the castle now operates as an art museum. Notable sites within the castle complex include Vavil Cathedral, which holds a number of royal tombs. The Silver Bell Tower, which may predate the cathedral by up to 200 years. The Renaissance architecture of the castle's courtyard and St. Leonard's Crypt. Kosciuszko Mound. Built to represent prehistoric burial mounds, it's hard to miss the prominent Kosciuszko Mound. Built in memory of the Polish statesman and military leader, the mound was voluntarily built with much of the work undertaken in the early 1820s. A granite boulder with inscription tops the mound. Major reconstruction and preservation works were completed in the early 2000s, with a museum celebrating the Patriot also able to be visited. Old Town A UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Old Town has plenty of things to see and do for visitors to the city. Indeed, many of the other attractions on this countdown are included in a tour of the Old Town. Originally set inside the old fortified walls, the Old Town features a large part of the Royal Road, the famed Market Square, historic points of administration and a number of notable museums, namely the Museum of Krakow and the Museum of Pharmacy. Numerous churches are also present here, among them the churches of St Andrews and St Martin. We'd love your support. If you're enjoying the video, please subscribe to the channel. Cloth Hall A magnificent architectural highlight of Krakow. The Cloth Hall stands proudly in Market Square. A hive of trade during the 15th century, the hall provided a central point for the sale of goods from all around the globe. While local salt merchants profited from an influx of international foreign buyers, a stunning museum fills the upper floor of the building today, showcasing some of the finest Polish artworks in the country. Wieliczka Salt Mine A major tourist attraction and an unbelievably magic place. The production of table salt on the site dates back to the 13th century, with support from Polish kings helping to extend the mining operations here from early development. Manufacturing of war materials took place in the mine during the Second World War, Today tourists are taken through the mine to see the mine's historic operations, numerous chapels constructed by the mine's workers, and statues carved out of the rock salt. Kamal Dili's Monastery Located on Silver Mount, Kamal Dili's Hermit Monastery supports those monks following an order founded in the 11th century. The order promotes austere living and structured hermetic adherence. The site was established in the early 17th century, and features the Assumption of Mary Church, known for its fine paintings from court painter Tommaso Dolabella. Women are allowed to visit the monastery on a limited amount of holy days each year. St Mary's Basilica, celebrated Gothic architecture in the middle of Market Square. St Mary's Basilica has stood here since the 14th century and is one of the most recognisable highlights of the old town of Krakow. A stunning altarpiece completed in the late 1400s adorns the interior, while its exterior towers range up to 80 metres high. A historic trumpet call, which once warned of Mongol attacks, is still played each day. St Florian's Gate Florian's Gate dates back to the 13th century, with the gate playing a central role in providing access to the old town. Once connected by bridge to the aforementioned Barbican, the gate stands over 30 metres tall. All other historical gates of the city were demolished, along with extensive walls and moat structures in the 19th century, leaving Florian's Gate as the sole surviving gate and echo to a Krakow of the medieval past. 
That concludes this edition of Great City Attractions. Subscribe to the channel. What's your favourite place to visit in Krakow? Comment below.